Okay, so we've set the zoom, we've set the width. Uh, what do we need to worry about next? So what we need to worry about next is perhaps one of the most critical parameters in light sheet imaging uh, with this system, which is, which is the sheet NA. So to explain uh, how this sheet NA business works, uh, I'm going to engage a few things here. First, I'm gonna click on horizontal focus. If I click there, you'll see that now there is this sort of bow tie shape at the top of my imaging window. So what that bow tie shape represents is the shape of the light sheet in the Z dimension. So if I go back here to the guide, The light sheet is not actually flat. Instead, if you look at it uh, sort of along XZ, it has a waist in Z and then it flares out. So in the system, remember the sample is in here, so it's sort of sitting there and the light sheet is coming like this, but it's actually not flat. It has kind of a bow tie shape. So it starts out thick, then it gets thin, and then it gets thick again, okay? So where it's really narrow, the Z resolution will be really good because it will only be exciting a few things in the Z, whereas where it's really thick, the Z resolution won't be so good because it's exciting a lot of stuff over a long range in Z. Uh, this is an inevitable fact of this light sheet that there's, the, the, there's a waste where the resolution is really good and then as you move away in Z, it's not so good. And so we need to deal with this issue or be aware of it and figure out what to do about this. So what is this representation here with the bow tie? From one side to the other of the bow tie, that is where the light sheet is within sort of 40%-ish of this thickness. So that means that at the very middle of this bow tie, which is at the middle of the sample, uh, the thickness of the light sheet in Z is about five microns, whereas on the edges, it's about 40% more than that, okay? Now you can see that what the result of that is that the middle is gonna have really great Z resolution, but the edges are gonna be less great. And so, what can we do about that? Or how first, how can we sort of illustrate that effect? So let's turn the video on. Let me make sure I'm in focus by focusing here. So I'm gonna look at some of the sort of features on the, on the screen and just make sure that I'm in really nicely in focus. And when, you, when you're focusing on something, it's good to have something kind of very clear in the middle. If your sample is not cleared super well, one trick is to put something in the middle uh, but on the edge of the sample. So then the light sheet doesn't have to traverse a big distance to get here. And we can see that that, uh, at least, you know, I can see it um, very sharply. So the focus is fine. So what about the, what are these effects of the sheet in A? So let's look at this a little bit more closely. You can see uh, that right now, this part seems pretty well in focus, but if I move this, so if I grab this and move it, what I'm going to do is uh, move where this waist is. So I can move the position of that waist by moving a lens in the system from uh, left to right as is shown here. So you can see right now that's there. If I move it, the waist will be, so excuse me, I, I wasn't pointing at it, if it's right there. If I move it, the waist will be at a different location in the sample. So if I move, again, if I grab this and move it, now you can see that these details are very sharp, but things on the other side look quite smeared, where if I move this all the way to the other side, let's see, over here, suddenly these details are sharp compared to if I have them here. So the position where uh, you move this is where the, the sort of waist will be optimal. But right now the problem is, um, you know, the Z resolution will be great in a thin strip here, but then it's not so great uh, throughout the rest of the sample. So what do you do? Like, how do you deal with this issue of the resolution not being even? So I am now recording directly from the screen, which will allow you to more clearly see the manipulations I'm making on settings. Um, so let's discuss this very important parameter, which is sheet NA. Let me turn the microscope on by clicking video. So to reiterate, uh, this is where currently um, 
the focus of the light sheet is, so where the waist of the light sheet is, where the thinnest part of the light sheet in the Z dimension is. Hence, this area right here is where we have the greatest Z resolution. Now, when we have a sample that's big and we want good Z resolution across the sample, or at least even Z resolution across the sample, what can we do? Um, so you can see that moving this allows us to have better Z resolution at particular regions of the sample, depending on where we are. Whereas if we move it um, kind of in other, uh, so if we move it out of the sample or to parts of the sample that um, we don't care about as much, the Z resolution suffers. So, so we need to put this wherever it's optimal. But even then, we may be in a situation where the Z resolution uh, is sort of very uneven. And so what are our options uh, if we find ourselves in that situation? So one of the options is to lower the sheet NA. When we lower the sheet NA, which we do here, you can see the shape of the bow tie changes. So essentially what this means is that the, the, the light sheet is getting more even in the Z dimension. Now this comes at a price. So uh, the price is the following. When we have a high NA sheet, it's very thin in the middle, but it flares a lot. If we lower the sheet NA, it's thicker in the middle, but it's more even. But frequently, evenness can be more important than Z resolution, particularly at low magnification views. So this might be a much better uh, option because we will have worse Z resolution, but it'll be more even throughout. And so this is frequently something uh, that people do to improve the evenness of their Z resolution across the image. Now you can see that when we did this, everything got dimmer, and that's because lowering the sheet in A makes the sheet uh, dimmer in addition to the geometric modifications of the sheet that I mentioned before. So this is certainly uh, one option if we want kind of a more even uh, illumination of the sample.